Hello, and welcome to my kitchen, not Sherry's. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make the best deviled eggs that you've ever had. And I went ahead and laid out what we're gonna need. Got mustard, apple cider vinegar, because I like the taste of apple cider better than normal vinegar. Sugar, a little paprika, salt and pepper, my arsenal of tools, and what I'm gonna put my eggs in. And check the link below, and you're gonna see how to make easy hard boiled eggs. They're gonna be so easy, guys, you can do it. I promise you. Ah! All right, guys, you're gonna start by taking your eggs. We're gonna cut these bad pajamas in half. You can put your uh, innards in here. This guy is not wanting to come out. It's cool though. Now I'm very picky, guys. I dried the uh, outside of my eggs before I'm making these because I'm uh, ridiculous. Would you agree with that? Yes. He does not allow me to make eggs. Yes. These deviled eggs are so good, uh, she is not allowed to make them or touch them. I'm, she's pretty lucky I'm letting her look at them. Alright, now guys, if you saw the video of me boiling these eggs, you're going to know I always fix an extra egg per six to help with my filling. And that's what this ugly little dude is. <laughs> All right. Almost done cutting eggs, and like I was saying, these are going to be the best eggs at the picnic, at the reunion, anywhere you go, because they're going to be kind of sweet, and everybody's going to be like, who made those eggs? Because trust me, I have answered a million times, who made those eggs? What are you doing with the uh, ugly guy? The ugly guy is going to go to the side. We're going to chop him up. After I get my mixture mixed together. Because I don't want to pulverize the whites. Okay. So, we're done with that. Actually, I lied. We're not done with that. I'm very picky with this. We're going to go ahead. You're going to mash up the eggs. Now, the reason I'm picky and I do it in this process, this is how you're going to get a good smooth middle. We're doing this. Mashed up pretty good. It's not 100% guys. Now we're going to put your salt to taste. I sneak in a little extra pepper. I don't really have like how much you're going to put of those. Some people like it a little salty. Some people not. Now I come back in and I'm going to Stir this around again. The salt and the pepper help actually mix up and pulverize the yellow down even better. So I'm gonna do that in another minute. Good enough. Now I'm gonna come in with my sugar. And on my sugar, according to my directions, I need one tablespoon. Now it is a tablespoon. Guys, my top secret is I go a little heavy. It's a little heavy on the sugar. But wouldn't tell nobody. That's that secret right there. And then we're gonna come back in and mix it again. Because remember, we don't want the yellow to be thick. Okay. Guys. I almost forgot the most important thing for deviled eggs, the mayonnaise. So make sure you put mayonnaise in these or you'll uh, mess them up. All right, so time for our vinegar. You got a teaspoon of vinegar. I guess kind of like the sugar. I'm gonna go a little heavy. 
So I'm gonna pour over my bowl. And yes, that was a little extra. Don't tell nobody. Now my mustard, it's a teaspoon also. Not a huge mustard fan. So, I'm gonna stay pretty accurate on the mustard. Now guys, the reason I put the vinegar before the mustard, if you see, if the vinegar's went in the spoon first, the mustard comes out way easier. Red. All right guys, now I know it sounds ridiculous, but after the vinegar and the mustard, I come back in here and stir it again. Like I said, I'm very picky with the process of my eggs. And I think if you make these eggs, you're gonna you're gonna see that it's worth doing all this little extra. And you see how it's getting pasty? It's looking pretty good. That's what you're gonna want to look for. Now I haven't even added the mayonnaise yet, but it's uh, it's getting down there pretty low. All right, time for the mayonnaise. Now this is gonna take three tablespoons. And it doesn't have to be accurate. I've never had anybody say, JJ, those eggs, they just wasn't, they wasn't what I was expecting. Now granted, he says that when I make them. That's why people don't ask for your recipe, they ask for my recipe. And guys, I don't like to use my finger to wipe off spoons and stuff. I'm very picky with food textures touching me. It's one of my weird quirks. So you'll probably never see me do it. All right, we're gonna come back in. We're gonna mix this. That's three tablespoons of mayonnaise. And look at that consistency right there. That is what you're wanting to look for in a delicious deviled egg. Beautiful. Now, do want to take, scrape down your sides. I don't like it when people leave a lot of stuff in the bowl because it's just extra tasty goodness. I'll leave that one. No. All right, fellas, this is what I was talking about with the egg that we fixed extra. I'm gonna take, and I'm not a chef, I'm not gonna chop these very good, but we're just kind of taking them, getting little tiny pieces out of them. Please watch your fingers. Knives are sharp, kids. These don't have to be perfect. When you stir in the, uh, the eggs into your mixture, it's gonna make these a little bit smaller too, so. No worries on that. Like I said, they don't have to look perfect. Um, I get compliments all the time on my eggs. And they're not gonna look 100% perfect. People don't want a perfect looking item. Looking pretty good, guys. Liking how that's, liking how it's looking. Like I said, we're scraping all this junk off here. Now, the next step, you can put this mixture in a bag and pop it into your eggs if you want. Um, I'm not a big fan of that. I'm just gonna take this and smear it in there, I think.
I think the best tasted eggs sometimes are not necessarily the prettiest ones. Well, that might be true, sous chef Sherry. Hey guys, what I'm doing here, I'm just putting a little bit into each egg, and I can come back in and add more. Because you're going to have plenty of filling for the eggs, that is for sure. Now you're going to come back and get some of the eggs that didn't get enough love as a child. I'm going to give them some more love here. Do, 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 do. And if you sing to your eggs, they're going to be a little better. There you go. You can have some more love too. And you can have some more love. And you can have some more love. He needs more love. More love for this guy. He didn't get to watch Disney movies when he was growing up. That's my, my he problem. He needs more love. This guy needs more love. Alright, we're pretty close, guys, to being done. Oh, he got a lot of love. He got a lot of love. We'll put a little more love on this guy. I think that's good. Now, somebody can taste meat the extra or whatever out of the bowl. There's not much left. Now what you're going to do is take just a little bit of paprika and mm, repeat that for the camera. Those are really good. And guys, honestly, if I was going to a picnic or a reunion tomorrow, tonight's when I'm doing them. It's, uh, it's about 12.30 midnight, and this is when I like to cook. It's it's a good stress reliever at the end of the day. Just to get in the kitchen and do a little bit. But you'll make, uh, you'll make your eggs tonight. You'll uh, take them tomorrow, and everybody will go crazy. You really will. They're so good. Them. I've taken them to work, and I've got compliments. Family gatherings, I get compliments. If you make some, not mine. Yeah, a lot of people make deviled eggs, and they're just too vinegary. These are going to be on the sweet side, if you do them exactly like I was showing you. They're going to be so sweet. I mean, you're going to see people start with one deviled egg, and you're going to see them sneak back up and get two more. And, I mean, that's just the truth. And go ahead and fix them the night before. Put them in a container. Be careful with the container. Put it down. Get in the fridge, and, I mean, it's ready to go the next day. Voila. Thanks for watching.